gonna be exciting. I love watching Uno play, and Meta Knight's always exciting too, so this is gonna be fun. Uno starts off um, immediately with a down throw up air, and he's using that gyro just to shut Meta Knight out. This is really what it's gonna come down to. How well Uno can defend versus uh, how good Bonk's execution is on the combos. That was a risky um, way to get back on stage, but Bonk going in. That was a smart decision right. by Uno. Good DI though on that uh, up the up up there up there. What is that? What is what do we call that now? I heard I it's the called beep the beep boop. boop. Yeah, beep boop. Good name. Climb hat back on the mic. Oh, good up smash. It may seem like Bonk's at a disadvantage, but all he really needs is a decent string or two to yep. make it to get it right back. Oh wow, nice. Uh, nice use of the up air to create an opening for himself to get back to the ledge, but uh, that F smash, with even with uh, with no rage, will take it from the other side of Smashville. Wow. You know, just keeps using his projectiles and genres and everything to shut Bonk out. I think that's yeah. doing the majority of the percent here. Yeah, just trying to like restrict his like approach options. Like, ma he's making him think. But uh, that was very—he got a lot of up airs in that string. That's the thing. Like, Meta Knight has really good approach options, but he has limited approach options. Yeah. So it really, he still has to get there because yeah. he doesn't. You know, no projectiles, and his sword is isn't that long. Oh, Ooh. wow. Good spike. Just Good took spike. everything away and then ended it with that there. Wow. All right. So we will uh, have to see what adjustments Bonk makes in game two. Game two? And stuff like that was game one. Yeah, right? it was game one. All right, sweet. And stuff like that. Stuff like those kinds of spikes. Especially yeah. a kind of spike where it's just like you wait there and you know that he's going to be there. Mm -hmm. That doesn't only take you the f that doesn't only like win you the first game. You already have an advantage the second game because you're already in their head. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it was just like it was also just a really good display of zoning. Like he made he he was using all of his projectiles to make Meta Knight recover low to the point where he can't air dodge because then he would be too low to make it back. So he just took everything away. But now FD and Ness from Uno, or FD from Bonk and Ness from Uno. Starting off from, starting off with a big combo. Uh, yeah, get that jab lock. He does uh, doesn't get anything off of it. And um, FD is uh, has more ground area than uh, Smashville, so Bonk will have more room to run around. And uh, he won't have to deal with gyro. He won't have to deal with uh, like projectiles that reach the entire stage. Um, I think it was a smart choice by Uno though to go Ness. Since yeah. Now he he really has no like Rob can really only use his gyro in one direction, and mm -hmm. Meta Knight can just counter that easily. So. Right. Right. I'm. Uh, a lot of I mean both of the kills. Um, both of the kills that Uno got in the last game were, uh, at least in part, from reads. Um, so maybe they both felt that, like, okay, if we play this out again, then maybe Bonk takes the second game, uh, Uno stays Rob. Um, so Uno probably opting for uh, what is considered a more well-rounded character. Even if he, uh, lack he loses a bit of, um, you know, tools to keep stage control. Uno's just slowly putting on a little bit of damage to yeah. get that edge. Yeah, he's not going in for like the you know the Ness aerial combos or anything. He's just taking what he can get, and he does have you know a small but uh, it's a small one, but it is a lead. I mean, not for ne actually not for either of these characters. It really is even since both of them can kill each other. So right. Early. Yeah. Oh wow! Quick yep. forward smash from Bunk, turning the tides immediately. Yeah. 
using that down B as an escape option. Oh, nice. Uh, good use of the dash to just weave out of the range of the PK fire so that it doesn't even come out. Because if he shields that, then it, you know, it activates into the next phase of the move, and it's, you know, it's there for, you know, however long, however many frames that stays out. Bruno's game plan right now is just, he has to find that up air, or that back air, or back throw. Yeah, yeah. He just has to keep fishing for that kill move while Bunk tries to, uh, keep getting more damage. Yeah, you stock. can't, you can't really nickel and dime when you're on their last stock. Um, because... Meta Knight, you know, plays that whole, like, take the take your hits when you can and rack up damage game but um, better than almost anyone. Quick up air by Uno, though. Yeah, really low up air, too. But that uh, that will do it with uh, Meta Knight. Uh, very, very light character. Okay, now they're starting to hit each other. Pace is picking up a bit. Because that, that uh, it was more than three minutes for both players to lose their first stock. Yeah. I don't think that we're going to see a timeout situation, but I think it was still going to be a very long yeah. game. Go down it, to like, the minute range. Th or yeah. like the, the, the first stock from both players was very slow-paced. Unless if we see another F smash from Bonk or maybe yeah. something crazy from I Uno. Mean, both characters have the tools to end this game very quickly. And that's, that's one of, oh, no, but no, good, good great DI, great DI. Oh, that was very interesting. Oh, they dragged him down with a forward air. Don't count Uno out, though. He can definitely bring oh, this back. Oh, yeah, definitely. He just has to play. Oh, oh my god. Wow. The one pixel of the sword hit him out of that forward smash charge. And the right, trump to back air, it. yeah. Wow. That would have killed. Very, very solid play in game two from Bong. Okay, now we're going back to Rob. I wonder if we're going back to uh, Lila. Lila, it's Interesting. smart. That a turn? All right, so now game three on Lila. And uh, this is kind of a smaller stage and uh, it's, you know, there's always the, the Lilat tilting stage effect that can always come into play for either character. Meta Knight with Gyro in hand, but now Rob gets it back, and he uses, he uh, looked like he was trying to set up for one of his, uh, his ledge traps. But that middle platform at a nice, really low height that uh, Rob is able to shark through that with his up tilt. And now he's going swinging with the up tilt. Oh, does, uh, Rob was too high to fall into the second hit of the shuttle loop. Oh, but that one will catch him. And another one! But it was pretty stale at that point. So I have to wonder if that comes into play for the for why that didn't kill. But wow, the... Uh, that, uh, second, that second up air didn't look like it would kill, but then uh, Meta Knight was gone before you knew it. Sharking again with that up air to give himself uh, a place to land. And he's just putting that gyro down on the ground because, you know, Meta Knight, uh, he gets most of his openings out of his dash attack and his dash grab, and those are both grounded options. So if you take, if you put a hitbox between yourself and him on the ground, then, you know, at the very least, it take, he has to, you know, sit there and think about what he's going to do to get around it. And uh, Meta Knight, a character that really thrives on pressure, uh, so cre giving yourself breathing room as Rob is something that is really valuable in this matchup. Wow! Such a really, really long string there from Bonk, but it doesn't get the stock because Rob is so heavy.
Gyro lands on shield. Nice power shield. Shields both projectiles. And now Bonkling very carefully. Both players playing very carefully. Uh, Uno just staying very active, setting up his projectiles whenever he can. Wow. Just dancing around each other with those rolls. Now Rob off stage, he has to recover. Eats a shuttle loop for it, and another one, and that one will kill. Shuttle loop to grab ledge to shuttle loop again. He's putting Rob in the spin cycle there. So Bonk takes that 2-1 over Uno.